Hey, what's going on, everybody? Edgy Tim back here. Another new view of the uh, World Headquarters. This is going to be coming to you from all kinds of little spots around here. and um, So stay tuned. Look forward to that. Now, top 30 Chicagoland preseason poll. We are going to start releasing that as of right now. But I've been kind of debating how to do this this time around. So I've got all my poll stuff and my notes here and everything written down. Yes, still handwritten. Uh, I eventually type it up, but still handwritten to begin with. So what we're going to do is I, I've decided, I, I like teasing you out a little bit. Uh, I remember I think it was last year, the year before, I threw the whole thing out in one day and within 15 minutes it was being tweeted all over. So I um, want to avoid that a little bit. Um, and again, this will be for free probably in a week or so, but in the meantime for you, the paying audience here at edutim.com, I like to try to give you as much exclusive first as I can. So what I'm going to do today, since you're watching this, I've already put this out. I'm going to give you the others and a little thought behind who I like, but why they are maybe in the 30 or, or maybe who's on the fringe of being in the 30. And then I will also give you teams 30 through 26. Tomorrow I will give you 25 through 21 and so on and so on until we get through the entire 30. So hang with me for a few days. Yeah, I know. Bones, everyone else. I can hear you complaining, but you'll live. All right. Here we go. The others, teams that just missed the Chicagoland Top 30. Um, Bradley. Really struggle with Bradley. A lot of star power coming back. I just have a couple of questions I don't have answers on right now. I'm keeping Bradley literally on the verge of being in the top 30. New Trier, another team that I think is going to have a really good year this year. But you got that, that team in red and black that just kind of has this winning streak going on, and it's still, for me, very difficult to pick against that team right now. Just on the outside for the Trevians. Bennett Academy should be very good this year in a very good conference. Providence Catholic may be the, one of the teams I'm about as confused on as anyone right now. Got a kid like running back Richie Warfield back, and I know Jared Drake will be playing quarterback. Martez Malone at wide receiver, but still got some questions, folks. So I have Providence on the outside. Bishop Mack, defending state champ, a lot to look forward to. Again, just when you see the way that the 30 falls in line, I think you'll understand. A lot of big enrollment teams, and if I'm going off of who can beat who right now, now you understand why I've got BMAC. Just on the outside a little bit. Lake Zurich. I, I just have a feeling the Bears are going are, are gonna to turn things around this year. They're going to be much improved. Definitely I see them in the state playoff field, but again, in a loaded conference. They are in the others. Richards, kind of the same way. Uh, like a lot of what I see from the Bulldogs this summer, a lot of experience back. But again, kind of on the fringe, just on the outside of the 30. Um, De La Salle and Fenwick. I'm going to put slash Fenwick. Both of them are in. The others both have experience, both have a lot of things to look forward to this year. Someone's going to beat the other, and it's it, it, it's going to be interesting watching how both of them develop during the season. I like them both just on the fringe of the outside. Naperville North, huh? Yeah, Naperville North, a lot to look forward to. I know the board's been hyping up the Huskies a little bit. I still have to see it early. That's why I'm, I'm going to be a bit conservative on the Huskies right now. A lot to look forward to, but we kind of, I think, need to see it a little bit. A team that really could be in this top 30, and I, I kind of struggled putting them in, but, again, you had to replace an all-state Division I quarterback. Of course, I'm talking about Oswego. Uh, tremendous conference winning streak. Very good team. Just on the fringe right now, and their rival district, I think, is going to be very good this year as well. As we go east, just on the outside of the 30, again, could very well wind up being a top 30 team by the time it's all said and done this year. DeKalb I like a lot, and, and for years I've struggled with DeKalb, whether they're in a Chicagoland pole or not. I say they're in because of who they're playing. I like the Barbs a lot. Great offense this year, going to score a ton of points. Two more teams than the others. Um, again, two very good teams, Lincoln Way West. Uh, graduated quite a few linemen. I think that's my big question going in. But still a lot to look forward to for the Warriors. Hinsdale South. Again, a very good team. Some good skill kids. Still got some talent over at Hinsdale South. 
Uh, also like the uh, junior transfer quarterback, uh, Justin Calzo, um, was a NAS kid, transfer over to Hinsdale South. That's a positive for the Hornets. But, uh, again, for right now, just on the verge of the outside. Now, Team 30, Lions Township. Love what I've seen on Lions Township. Ben uh, Bryant, one of the top quarterbacks, uh, only a junior. Some good skills, some good linemen. A little bit of experience on the line, but some big kids there. I like what I saw at Alliance 29. This one might surprise you a little bit. How about St. Lawrence at 29? Yeah, I'm telling you, the Vikings are going to be very good this year. Um, a lot of experience. Uh, Fazion Smart, running back, is going to put up some huge numbers. Just a very good team back again in St. Lawrence. They are the 29 team. 28. Another surprise for you. Well, I'm going to catch a lot of flack about this one. St. Rita. Hit him high, hit him low. Go, Rita, go. Hey, you know, Rita can't be down for too long. Got a lot of talent back this year. I think the Mustangs, look, they're going to have to fight for everything in that conference. And you very well could flip-flop these guys with Providence right now, as far as I'm concerned. Going to roll a little dice on your St. Rita Mustangs. So they're at 28. 27. I am going to go with St. Charles North at 27, um, a program that has continued to be on the rise, on the rise, on the rise. ton of talent back, a couple of Division I kids, Griffin Hammer, Isaac Hahn, both committed already. A lot to look forward to for St. Charles North. They are number 27 and number 26, just missing the top 25. Got to go with Simeon. Uh, the Wolverines, still one of the top teams in the public league. Uh, Jason uh, Jackson, quarterback, already getting a ton of uh, Division One offers as a junior. Uh, was impressed with him the limited amount of time I saw him at quarterback last year. Also played receivers for Simeon. A lot of skill kids. Big question for Simeon this year, the line play. But outside of that, always a fan of the Wolverines. So, again, let's go through it again. 30, Lions, 29, St. Lawrence. 28, St. Rita. 27 is, of course, St. Charles North. 26, Simeon Wolverine. So there you go. There's the others. There's 30 through 26 tomorrow, 25 through 21. We'll see you then. Later.